What's happened, folks? Back with another reaction, and we're back to start a new Smiths album. We're going to start the album The Queen Is Dead, which, just as a simple statement of fact, uh, was not uh, true in an ontological sense when they wrote that, but is now empirically true many years later, so um, a sort of weird time to sort of begin going through this album, but yeah. Uh, the Queen is Dead is also the name of the first track, but I did notice, it doesn't say this in the, the folder that I have access to, but I did see online when I was making sure that I was going to react to the right album next, because, um, you know, I don't know if they're, I think they're just listed alphabetically, the different folders, so I didn't know, like, for sure what was the next one um, after Meet is Murder, and it is 1986, Queen is Dead, and when I saw online on Discogs, I noticed that the track is actually listed as being a medley with something else, so let me just make sure I have that in mind. Um, okay, so, yeah, the first tune is listed as, I apologize, there we go. Um, so the Queen is Dead, Take Me Back to Dear Old Blighty. Uh, medley. So Take Me Back to Dear Old Blighty feels like it has to be a, an English song, um, you know, maybe a traditional uh, hymn or a traditional uh, folk tune, but ultimately um, it has that oldie timey sound and Blighty just sounds like a place name in England. Nevertheless, um, I'm not sure, you know, if it'll be obvious where the transition happens or if it'll actually be like a medley where they're kind of blending different elements. Usually it is one leads into another where they're like two different parts of the track, but they're bridged rather than just, you know, stopping one and starting the other. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll find out. But this is The Smiths. The tune is The Queen is Dead. And apparently it's a medley with Take Me Back to Dear Old Blighty. And I apologize. Oh, I do have it out. Okay. So it's like a, a school kid song.
Learning the guitar, the bass, it's literally everything. Oh, and by the way, his voice, yeah. has gone to a higher level the the mix of the elements the sort of the composition um, it's a really interesting tune sonically and again um, lyrically I didn't hear everything but it sounded like you know sort of a reverence toward you know the establishment the royal family the sort of you know the national religion and so on it felt like this sort of um, countercultural take on the sort of like iconography and institutions of old England so, um, yeah, do let me know if I'm onto something there. Obviously, you know, first time through with Smith's tracks, um, it's a bit difficult just because they have a sort of like a poetry to the lyrics. There's often like a geographical specificity. Apparently my kitty would like to come over here. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, um, there were some elements there that did seem to indicate a sort of like a cynical um, view of the things which are held to be sort of noble and lofty and, um, you know, sort of part of the national character. So, in any case, a really cool opening, a long tune, um, you know, medley or not, it felt like six and a half, six minutes, something like that. So, um, yeah, interesting to start a tune or an album with a longer track. Um, not the first time that's happened. I think the first um, track on Ultravox's Vienna album was like nine minutes long or something. So, it's something I have encountered recently. Uh, but yeah, really cool opening. Do let me know what you think of that one. And Luca and I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>